Okay, so as you can see, I do have a few imperfections on my face already. Um, I've got a few spots around my chin, so this is kind of what I'll be basing the coverage off for the foundation. I will be applying a primer only on half of my face to see if it does make a difference. They do have a primer that's in this kind of new infallible 24 hour matte brand, but I could not get my hands on it in around three shops that I looked in. Um, so I'm just gonna be using the foundation, but if you guys want a separate review on the primer, which will be a bit of a shorter video, obviously, because it's not as obvious as a foundation, then leave a comment down below but if not I will just do the foundation. The primer I'm going to be using is my Benefit Professional. It's supposed to have a medium texture and high coverage and the finish is supposed to be matte which you can see on the back there. Sorry about the lighting, it's kind of a really annoyingly sunny through the clouds today. So I'm going to be trying this out and it says it has a pro tip which is to smooth onto the skin in circular motions for flawless looking coverage. This is in the number 20 and it's the colour sand. I'm going to be applying primer on one half of my face like I said and I think I'm going to do it on my left half of my face here. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. Right, so primer's on my face now on this half only, and I'm actually going to see the texture of this because I haven't actually looked at it yet, aside from obviously trying it in the shop. So this is what the bottle looks like. Um, it has a small little nozzle here, and it's quite big. How many? It's 35ml, and I think that's quite standard for foundation. So I'll just put it on the back of my hand and show you guys what it looks like. The texture of it, I'd say, would be quite similar, or it's just very similar to... L'Oreal True Match, but I would say it's slightly thicker. That's the only difference I've seen so far. I'm going to start dotting this on my face, and I think I've decided to apply both sides with my fingers. As <laughs> layer on and I think it has covered quite a lot. I'm not too sure if I like the texture of it amazingly. I do usually put two layers of foundation on and then concealer and to kind of contour a bit but I mean it does look quite good considering I use my fingers. It dried very quickly so if it was me again I would kind of use my Fix Plus spray or maybe a wet beauty blender to kind of like give me some more time to work with the foundation before it sets. It has set very matte So as you can see I kind of had to pick up a beauty blender and use that to blend out the foundation. I did find that when I dotted some little bits of foundation up here they kind of already dried out before I actually had the time to full on blend them and I couldn't actually see that it wasn't fully blended until I looked really close with the mirror. So again I kind of think this foundation it is mattifying as you can see my face looks totally matte with no powder whatsoever but it's really really hard to kind of blend out just with your fingers because it does dry so quickly and it's very much hard to work with unless you have some sort of fix plus or just water on a beauty sponge to kind of give you that extra time to blend okay, it out. So this is the finished face with the foundation. I did just put on some concealer then some bronzer, highlight and blush and I did my eyes and lips obviously but I actually put on no translucent powder at all. I feel as though it was so kind of drying. However, I did feel as though because it was so mattifying already, it was a bit harder to kind of blend out my concealer because it did kind of stick to the foundation rather than enable me to blend it out like with my other foundations that still take a little while to set. So that's probably a downside to it. But I have to say now it's all settled in properly. It does look really, really nice and quite flawless actually. I have not put any concealer on my spots at all. So let's have a look quickly how they are. So as you can see it's covered them pretty much quite a lot. It looks a lot better in person than on the camera but I haven't put any concealer there. I've only used concealer to highlight and put a bit of darker concealer just to contour so that's literally all I've done. Um, so far I'm really really impressed with this. I want to just do a really really quick update. I've only had this foundation now for around 15 minutes anyway. But I noticed a little stain on my hand and it's actually the foundation and it literally will not rub off at all. So. Here's you can see, this is why I pumped it on my hand earlier and I'm really trying to rub it off and it is not moving in the slightest. So there's no wonder it's staying on, it's kind of like a stain foundation I want to say. Um, so I have no real doubt that it's going to stay on all day but I just thought I'd show you guys the fact that it's literally not rubbing off at all. <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm back with an update and the time actually is, what time is it? 
It is currently six minutes past two, as you can see, and I actually put this foundation on, I'm going to say around 11 o'clock, possibly even half ten. So I've already had it on for about three hours already, and I have to say it's actually holding quite well. I didn't end up going to university, obviously, as you can tell, because my train was cancelled, so... I'm here and I can give you some more updates. I did put a tiny bit of powder on around an hour or so ago because it was getting a bit shiny around my nose, which is where I get the most oily anyway. But I do have to say the rest of it was kind of holding itself up quite well and I haven't touched it up for an hour or so. And you can kind of see it's a bit shiny. Some of it up here obviously is my highlight, but around my nose and around here it is a tiny bit greasy. We'll see how it goes later on. Hey guys, so I hope the lighting is okay. It's actually really dark and I've got a super bright light right in front of me. So if my face looks really shiny or really bright then I do apologise. But I'll have a quick time check and this is the same day. I've just curled my hair and changed my top from earlier. The time is currently 11 minutes past 9 and I've had this foundation on since 11. Having a look close up it still looks really good. It hasn't actually shifted anywhere as you can see. All of my bronzer, blush and highlight are all in the same place but I'm definitely very shiny. I wouldn't expect miracles from this because like if you have because if you do have skin as oily as mine, then it's never going to be perfect and it's never going to keep it matte for the whole day. Um, the positives, I would say it does have good coverage. I only needed two of the coats of it to kind of cover all my imperfections. Like I said, I didn't put concealer on my spots or anything and it covered them up really, really well. Um, it's quite easy to apply downside I would say it's too fast drying I mean I've still got that stain on my hand as you guys can see it looks a bit strange but it's definitely the foundation and it just stained my hand because I'd left it on there when I was testing it out so one issue is it dries super super quickly it just didn't blend very well at all and it kind of was a bit of an issue and I did I would definitely use a wet beauty blender or just put some fix plus in there because it did not really work that well with my skin and it did look slightly better with the side where I put the Benefit Professional. I don't think you can tell that much of a difference now but earlier in the day it did look a lot better on the side where I had a primer on beforehand so definitely prime your skin. Make sure your skin isn't dry when you apply this or else it will just stick straight to it. I would really really stay away from this if you have dry skin. It will just get stuck in all the dryness and you won't be able to blend it at all and it will just end up not looking how you want it to look. Um, I do like the packaging of this. I think it's quite a reasonable price and it does last a very very long time so that's my overall first impressions of this foundation i hope you guys have found this video helpful i really missed you guys so leave me some likes and positive comments and don't forget to subscribe so yeah if you've got any suggestions just leave them down below and until then i will see you in my next video bye